Dance Man and Melodies here at Gear for Music Synth and Tech, and today we're looking at the Strymon Big Sky plugin, or to give it its correct name, the Strymon Big Sky. <laughs> because the Big Sky, of course, is a software port of Strymon's 2014 Mega Pedal, which was called the Big Sky as well. This was a guitar pedal, stereo in, stereo out, with just like the most gorgeous, beloved Mega Reverbs. And that's what this plugin is. It's a gorgeous, beloved Mega Reverb plugin that has the exact same code that's in the Big Sky. And it's very direct and simple. You just try different algorithms and tweak the knobs to taste. And it sounds really good, as you might expect. Uh, so in this video, I just want to have a very quick mess around. I've been playing around a bit, just making some music and using the big sky as my effect. Uh, so let's try it, shall we? Prepare for bigness. Big sky. So firstly, I have a bunch of elements on here. That would be Diva. Here she is. And you can hear that there's some Big Sky on Diva. And this is the non-linear mode. Fully wet there. Non-linear is interesting. It's got like um, reverse kind of slapback things and different mode shapes that you can use to give you different sorts of results. Including a gate, which I've used on these drums. So you can hear here a 707. This is the big sky. Loads of low end. But on the synth part, it just adds like a little slap pack. It's just loads of lovely things like this where the effect like makes the melody because the effect is causing a call and response that's actually like making it. What is that, you ask? That is Big Sky's choral mode which is stuff I've never seen in other reverbs, which is like, um, it has filters that are creating kind of vowel sounds in the reverb tails. So, so good being added onto the end there. And that's the ooh, ah, ooh and ah. So it adds like a human characteristic to the reverbs. And I haven't, haven't actually explained the interface, by the way. I've just kind of got a bit carried away with some of the results. But suffice to say that um, it's a very straightforward. You click around here. You can click and drag this, or you can just click the sound you want to try, the algorithm that is in it. You can see it updates immediately, and you can see that each algorithm has kind of slightly different controls, although there are common controls between them. Um, and a really nice touch is that when you're looking Looking for an algorithm, you kind of mouse around Big Sky and like try and find a different one. Say, for example, I was messing with Coral, as I was, because that just sounds really nice. But I wanted to try Bloom and mess with a few settings here. That also sounds really nice. I was increasing the mod there to make it more modulated and kind of wiggly and wavy. Um, but if you would turn to Corral, it's exactly how you left it. So if you want to like try auditioning different algorithms and kind of mess around, when you return to the other algorithm, it hasn't changed and reset. I might sound like a small thing, but I just that was a really important usability point for me. And it was nice to see that that works that way. Apart from that, it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. 
Up here we have presets, you get a bunch, and of course there is a space to have your own presets too. Interestingly, we do have a freeze mode here, and what this does is that if I play... <laughs> It freezes and holds. But there are two different modes. There's infinite and freeze. And with freeze, if I continue to play, notice that you're still hearing the held signal, but I'm not um, adding to it. Now, the flip side to freeze is infinite and what that does is it means that when I play it will keep adding echoes so I've just played a single note and I've added it now that's an octave below by the way let's go up higher doing is dabbing the note in cautiously and so adding it to the like held mega verb and away it goes and so in this way you can build up drones like big sky is amazing for creating kind of super drones the decay times go super super long uh, so it's very satisfying for i guess for guitarists obviously first and foremost but as a synthesizer person i really appreciate very long reverb tails too. Uh, and Lord knows we have them here. So the decay times go very long, um, up to like 20 seconds. And there is also a delay in here called magneto. Which goes up to uh, 1.5 seconds. So it is a delay as well. Well, there is a very nice delay in here. There is another really lovely algorithm in here called Cloud. Now, according to Strymon, Cloud is based on algorithms from the 70s. And for that, I assume it means kind of lexicon style algorithms, but with a kind of uh, processing power not dreamed of in those days. You're able to, in their words, obscure the distinction between reality and fantasy. And that sounds like fun. to sort of create drama with this. It's like it's a dramatic reverb because it creates like these sort of cinematic sort of moments. Um, and to that end, interestingly, I used the freeze function on some of the ideas that I was working on here, uh, namely this. So this little snippet is, you can see a very distorted section here. I played a sound in and then held it with the um, freeze mode. And then what I've done is I've taken that, looped it, and I've applied two filters, which are sort of moving around in stereo. If I turn those off. And so then if I turn on the filters, and then Big Sky, Let's turn it on. And what I've got here is the shimmer algorithm. Always a good time. So shimmer is a reverb, except it's got pitch shifted, uh, like, I 
it's technically a delay. I mean, all reverb is apparently technically delay, but um, it has pitch shifters built in, and you can see that we have a shift that's up four semitones and up two octaves. And Shimmer is just so very cinematic. So just to remind you, both of these things are built out of Big Sky. The drone itself in the background was a held Big Sky, a frozen Big Sky moment. And to it, we then add Shimmer. So this just shows you that like having multiple Big Skies um, doubles your fun, makes everything so much more fun. Uh, I can put basically Big Sky on everything. Good times. Here is that magneto that I mentioned. We can make it very wow and fluttery, or we can make it cleaner, brighter or darker. Kind of obvious stuff that you would expect to have, but you've got it. is Diva, and it is the Spring Reaver. So the Strymon Big Sky plugin is available from Gear for Music. You can find a link to gearformusic.com uh, where you can pick up the plugin. I keep wanting to say pedal. Um, you can buy all manner of wonderful things from Gear for Music. Check out the link below. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.